His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabia Palace today several members of the royal family and a number of senior state officials in the presence of the chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Khalid Al Moyed, and a number of businessmen. The Prime Minister confirmed that the private sector is encouraged to make use of investment opportunities in the kingdom and initiate projects that contribute to the national economy and thereby provide job opportunities for Bahrainis. He urged the private sector to benefit from Bahrain's pioneering commercial status and reinforce cooperation with the concerned authorities to guarantee the sustainability of such progress. His Royal Highness showed interest in the proposals and visions of the businessmen with regards to investment procedures and reinforcing the investment environment in the kingdom to further attract national and foreign investors. The Prime Minister pointed out the government's keenness to create a suitable environment to encourage economic development and pave the way for its progress in service of the national economy. Finally, His Royal Highness expressed the government's welcoming of the views of the commercial field to expand its participation in investment activities. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabia Palace today members of the Al Shuwaita family, led by Fuad Hussein Shuwaita, who extended thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his noble sentiments on the demise of Mohammed Hussein Shuwaita. He confirmed Bahraini society's cohesion within the framework of the One Family, highlighting the role of Bahraini families in the development and progress march in service of Bahrain's prosperity. The Prime Minister appreciated the contributions of the Al Shuwaita family in the economic and commercial fields, stressing the government's support to all efforts serving the homeland.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today members of the Al Zayani family led by Jassim bin Abdurrahman Al Zayani, who appreciated His Royal Highness's deep condolences on the passing of Shauki Ahmed Al Zayani. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister highlighted the strength of the interlocking relationships between Bahraini families and stressed their importance in further enhancing cooperation and communication. His Royal Highness pointed out the important role of business families in achieving economic progress in the kingdom and creating job opportunities by boosting economic and business activities and lauded the role of the Al Zayani family in contributing to the economic and investment sectors in Bahrain. Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Salah, chaired the regular meeting today to discuss the Services Committee's report regarding the draft law to protect society from acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, otherwise known as AIDS, and the right to protect the people who already have the virus. The Council approved the recommendations of the Services Committee regarding the second chapter. The Council also discussed the report on the third Parliament meeting between Bahrain and the European Parliament regarding relationships with the Arabian Peninsula following the visit by the delegation last April. Very good evening and welcome to the business news here on Bahrain Television. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,246.68 points, marking a decrease of 3.8 points below last week's closing level. Trading dipped across the commercial banks, services and industrial sectors. 
Most trades did occur under the umbrella of the commercial bank sector, however, at 73% of total share value traded. In total, 33 tra equity transactions took place today, involving a volume of 1,298,559 shares, worth 103,383 Bahraini dinars.